All right, we are back in the Mortuary Assistant, picking up right where we left off, and we're going to go ahead and get going with this. And let's open this up. It has our name on it. There is a hall key, an old key, and a tape recorder. Okay, uh, let's check our inventory. All right, so we have what we need, I suppose. <clears throat> hall key. Yes. I'm fucking quitting tomorrow. I mean, who does something like this? Okay, we're here. And the phone's ringing. Hello, Governor. All right, listen carefully. I'm, look, I'm sorry, but this entire thing is extremely unprofessional. If this is how you treat new hires, I don't think I can work for you. This isn't funny. Rebecca, you don't have to believe me, but I hope you do before it's too late. The only way to save yourself is to banish the demon before you're too far gone. To do that, you will need to learn the demon's name. Bind it to its chosen body, and burn it in the retort. Uh. Look, I know this is a lot to take in. I wish I could do more for you. I had years to learn what I know. You have hours. <sighs> I've recorded a number of cassettes to instruct you, in the hope that having a physical object with a known message will help you stay grounded. I won't be calling again. You can't trust the phones. Anything. Throw. Listen to the tapes. <clears throat> Learn the demon's name. Burn the correct body. Listen to the Most tapes. The thing in the room is in that cabinet. Open it up. Good luck, Rebecca. I'm sorry this had to happen. This is insane. Okay, listen. Just be the professional one. Grab a body and get started. Listen to the tapes. Small cassette tape labeled one night shift system. The night shift database. All right. A computer program <clears throat> combining all my findings into one reference point. The database contains all the information on the process Whatever. of expulsion. Just grab a body used, and get started. And most importantly, all the markings of the known demonic names. If you ever forget what to do, replay these tapes or look it up in the database. The collection of demonic names is the most crucial piece to the puzzle will need this information. My ID card is in my personal belongings drawer. On the back is the passcode to access it. Use it. Okay. Whatever. All right, well, let's listen to this one. Uh, this one is labeled three. Okay, so we need a pencil, I guess. What the fuck is going on? There's a pencil right there. There's also a pencil right there. Can be used to check how far one has slipped into possession. Use it in inventory. Okay, uh. Okay, alright, uh, so. Let's pick up the clipboards, so I'm, I'm thinking that's going to tell us which body to get. Okay, clipboard. At least I can keep track of things. Reagent in the old cabinet. Uh, retrieve body from cold storage. Inspect body for identifying... Okay, so the same thing that we were doing before. There's also a tape right here. Uh, label two. Banish a demon to hell. It must be bound to its chosen body and burned. The three objects in this cabinet are your tools. 
That's the reagent. The clay tablet in the center is called a mark. Placing the smaller pieces in the correct configuration will spell the demon's name. Second, the bottles on the top shelf are a special reagent that will react to the mark. Add a bottle to the embalming mixture during the process. When the mark is placed on the correct body with the reagent inside, it will force the demon to become bound to it. Pay attention to signs that you have chosen correctly. They can be obvious or extremely subtle. Once you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel, burn it. Finally, the pieces of paper on the right are called letting strips. It must inscribe the sigils of its name in our world to begin the evocation. You will need to uncover these sigils to use them. Hold a letting strip up while wandering the mortuary. If it begins to smolder and burn, you're close. When the paper combusts, the sigil has been revealed somewhere in that area. They can be anywhere. So look on walls, under objects, inside furniture. Anywhere. The demon will inscribe its sigils over time to try and hide them. So check regularly. Once you uncover the sigils, use the night shift database to decide which demon you're dealing with. And use that knowledge to create the mark. The steps are simple. Add the reagent to the embalming mixture. Uncover the sigils. Build the mark and place it on the body. Then, when you're certain, burn it in the retort. Holy shit. Okay, all right. Let's pick up one of these. Uh, letting strip. A special piece of scripture with the ability to reveal demonic markings. When the demonic marking is near, the permanent, uh, the parchment will smolder. And combust, bringing the marking into the material world to be found. So, let's... Can we use the letting strip already? Like, is, is there a thing? I don't think so. Okay, I don't think we're quite ready for that right now let's let's just check the front office oh okay where is it Okay, so it's like, oh, sh where is, where was it? I didn't see it. Was it on the floor? Okay. Uh, maybe we should just get the body. Or maybe we should try another one of these. Okay, bring in the marking. Okay, uh, when a demonic marking is near, the parchment will smolder and combust, bringing the marking into the material world to be found. Let's, let's put it away and... Okay, so we got one already, and I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. There it is. So it's the squiggly thingy with the thingy. Hopefully it doesn't have to go in, like, a particular order or anything. Let's see. Uh, I think that one's it right there. Yeah, that one right there. So let's put that in there. Okay, so we have another mark. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab a body. I don't know which body we're getting, though. 
Is there something up front that we're, that's supposed to tell us? There's nothing in there. Okay, it doesn't say any particular body, so let's just grab a body and go. What do we have here? Theodore. Mariella. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab this one. Let's grab that one. It looks like the one that we were working on before. I do not like not being able to look behind me. Shit. Oh, I don't like this at all. All right, here we go. Oh, look at the feet move and everything. That's just so fucking. All right, let's check you out. Weird. All right, let's check the hands. Rotate. Nothing. <laughs> Shit. Hello? Oh, no. Nope, nope. New job. I'm getting out of here. Yep, goodbye. How long I went to school? You career path. Fuck this. Fine. Maybe... What the no. fuck? Maybe... Everything's fine. It's... it's fine. <sighs> okay, alright. Let me... let me move. No, I... I you're just... you're just... I just... Yes. I'm just saying things. Can I... I just need to get back to work. Okay. It's, it's fine. L let's get back to work then. Thank you for setting me free. The fuck? Alright, let's finish inspecting the body. Rotate. Uh, there's a thing there. Screw this. I'm getting back to work. This is so stupid. I like how the achievement, you can't see, I don't know if you saw that or not, but the achievement was I ain't afraid of ghosts. Which I'm not, it just... This game is so fucking weird. Rotate, we already got that. Check the hand. There's one right there. We got a thing there, we there. And I don't think there's anything on this leg, no. Alright, next. Uh, let's enter this into the thing. Alright, name. Age. Uh, nothing on the head. No, 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 no. That's, that's right shoulder. Okay, uh... Left shoulder. Left leg. Left arm. Tusion. Nothing on the head, nothing on right leg, and nothing on right arm. Alright. We need to see if we could run another sigil or something, or a thing. See if we could find a I sigil. Did, uh, file the copy up front. Yes, I know. That's what we're gonna go do right now. Let's run. Because walking... Time to embalm. All right, let's let's run this thing. All 
All right, I'm not seeing anything just yet. Nothing's coming up. Nothing in there. All right, let's go ahead and put that away. Uh, no. No. Okay. Next is wire jaw shut with the thing. What's where's the thing? That's this thing. And we need this. Oh man, that sound. Okay, we need eye caps. Eye caps, eye caps. Where are the eye caps? Scalpel. That's that thing. Eye caps. All right. Okay. Uh, mix involving fluid. So we need. The gluter, methanol, humectant. There's humectant. The hell is this? Oh no, that's a bleaching agent. We don't want that. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, formaldehyde. We need this. You hear that? I just heard a laugh. We need this. And we need methanol. Or, yeah, methanol. And then we also need a reacting, or reagent. We need a reagent. I can't hold anything else. Shit. Methanol. And a reagent. Alright, so we got that all mixed. Let's let's pull out the sigil. Or the uh the thing. I don't know if it like progressively updates as time goes. I feel like... Oh, no! Holy shit on a stick. Okay, I'm not seeing this thing light up at all. Maybe it will now that we had that little interaction. So let's walk back there one more time. You stay right there. Okay. Alright, let's put that away. Because, the, okay, that's not a thing. Alright, so we need... We need that. 
Uh, we need... That's cavity fluid. Kim lab. Where are the tubes? Oh wait, we need the scalpel. And we need the tubing. Where's the tubing? Can we get some damn light in this fucking place? I mean, holy shit. Tubing. Alright. I'm missing something. I'm missing something. Oh, we need the... What is it? Forceps? Is that what that's called? Alright, so... Engage pump and let the body drain. So... Not every moment. Let's, let's go to one. What's the night shift code? To banish a demon to hell, it must be bound to its chosen body and burned. The three objects in this cabinet are your tools. First, the clay tablet in the center is called a mark. Yep. Placing the smaller pieces in the correct configuration will spell the demon's name. Second, Bottles on the top shelf are a special reagent. Yep, we already got that in there. Mark. Add a bottle to the embalming mixture during the process. When the mark is placed on the correct body Wait. with the reagent inside, it will force the demon to become bound to it. Pay attention to signs that you have chosen correctly. They can be obvious or extremely subtle. Once you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel, burn it. Finally, Pieces of paper on the right are called letting strips. It must inscribe the sigils of its name in our world to begin the evocation. You will need to uncover these sigils to use them. Hold a letting strip up while wandering the mortuary. If it begins to smolder and burn, you're close. When the paper combusts, the sigil has been revealed somewhere in that area. They can be anywhere, so look on walls, under objects, inside furniture. Demon will inscribe its sigils over time to try and hide them, so check regularly. Once you uncover the sigils, use the Night Shift database to decide which demon you're dealing with, and use that knowledge to create the mark. The steps are simple. Add the reagent to the involved mixture. Uncover the sigils. Build the mark and place it on the body. Then, when you're certain, burn it in the retort. Okay, so we're not getting anything. I thought we were supposed to do that first. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so it's still going.
All right, uh, let's go ahead and remove this stuff. Stitch that up. So now we need to clean the tank. So in order to do that, we need this. And then we also need the cavity fluid. Uh, we need to... Okay, so we're, we're gonna do this first, and then... And then... Ugh. Yeah, we do this first, and then we clean the tank. I don't like that I can't move my camera and see anything right now. There we go. Oh my god, I bet this job really stinks. Like, literally stinks. Alright, mix cleaners and bathroom closet to create tank cleaner, then pour into the embalming pump. Alright, so let's- we've done- we've done some stuff here. Let's- let's walk around and see if we can find another one of these marks. There's gotta be one back here, right? I mean, it's inside the mortuary. I don't think it's outside, is it? Can we even go outside? We got one, but see, the problem is we have to put them in order. Oh. Um. Will you help me? What the fuck? Um. Uh, yeah. A small photo, front 1970, back the year of arrival of House of Death, the birth of its creator, the full number shall be six. Nineteen seventy... Nineteen seventy-six? The year? Of arrival of the house of death, the birth of its creator, the full number shall be six. Two, three, four. So two numbers, we need two more n numbers, or is it 1976? Is that the code that we were looking for? Let, let's finish walking around with this over here real quick. Oh, we can go. I can't see a fucking thing out here, though. I don't know if one of these things are going to show up outside, so I'm just kind of... doing a little wander here, taking a gander. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's starting to burn. Okay, it's like right here, but I can't see anything. We gotta let it burn all the way. It's like right here. Oh, 
Okay, I'm thinking it might be inside then, because when I get close enough to it, it'll burn all the way. Okay, we're close. Oh, I think we got it. I think we got it. Where is it? We don't have a flashlight or anything. It's gotta be like right in here somewhere though. Oh, there it is. Uh, it's the... three-looking thing. No, we need to go this way. We need to go over here. It's the three-looking thing. Uh, that one right there? So, but it's gotta be in, like, the right order, though. That's the thing. And I don't know... Okay, so we need another one of these. So let's take that. Uh, that is going to do it for this episode, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and stop it there, and then we'll continue on here in the next one. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you comment down below and smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload another video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.